the universe. <laughs> what a concept. The universe is beautiful. Something like a new woman that I was gonna date. You're dark and you're, you're massive and you have a black hole. And all of those elements I wanna explore just like you would explore on a new date. You wanna dive deep into them and, and feel around and just see see what's going to come out of that. The time it takes to get from one star to another star is instead you need to travel at the speed of light. And us humans can't even fathom the concept of that kind of time because it's really, 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 really fun to think about taking a speed of light ride. <laughs> Ultimate fate of the universe is so dark and mysterious that it generates butterflies in my stomach and that goes to tickles in my spine and that creates goose pimples and then that penetrates my mind and then the, the whole big bang explosion. Look at a planet and you see that light, that planet's not even there. That's just a light. That's just your neighbor shining a flashlight right into your yard, looking for coons. And he says, what are you doing in my backyard with that flashlight? And I told him, I'm shining, I'm shining in your window so I can teach your son about the universe. He said, get out of my yard. And why are you communicating to my son? Why are you in all black? behind my bushes shining a light into my house. And I said, I'm teaching your son about the universe. I'm shining a light, shining a light right in there and exploring his room as he's looking out and exploring the universe. I turn the light off and I see your son go to bed and I turn the, sh the light back on and I do swirls on his wall like a comet's tail. I do this every night with your son.